In this video, I'm going to show you some powerful tips for using open board online whiteboard, which is in my opinion, the best online whiteboard and it's completely free and open source and you get all of its features for free. And this is my video number four on open board. If you want to know how to get this software, you watch my first video. So I'm not going to show you how to install open board, but rather I will show you how to put math expressions in open board and what is the workflow for that. And we will also discuss some other topics. So make sure that you implement all the tips I show you in this video because this video will change the way you teach online. I am using math example, but the same workflow can be used for any subject for teaching online. There is a timestamp in the description of this video that you can click to reach directly to a specific part of this video. So the first thing we are going to discuss today is how to insert math equations as you can see on this slide. And this is one of the problems of open board that open board does not have any equation editor. You cannot edit these equations and math expressions inside open board. So what I am doing is I have prepared this slide in Canva and now I'm inside Canva and this Canva is a graphic design software that you can use to create educational material as well. Now the problem in Canva is that Canva also doesn't have any math editor. And I have explained the complete process of putting math equations in Canva in another video. And this is the thumbnail of that video. You can watch that video and you will understand how to put all these types of math expressions inside Canva. And then you prepare your slides in Canva and then I bring those slides in open board. And now what I can do is by using this stylus, I can explain any part of this to my students and it will be better if you use any low cost tablet because using these tool by mouse is not very convenient. So it's better that you use any low cost tablet, something like this. Now the best way to use these slides in open board is this. Now whenever you install open board inside this pictures folder, open board put this folder named open board. The second step is that you download all those slides and save in this open board folder. And now the final step is, let me show you from the beginning, I click on this home tab and I add another page by clicking on this add page. And now let's say this is my blank page and let me delete this as well. And now if I want to insert my slides containing math expressions in open board, I click on this pictures folder and I will see all my slides. I can click and drag to put inside my page. And now if I click on that, I can resize this and this stays reasonably sharp. It will not be 100% sharp because unfortunately open board does not allow vector images. Canva allows vector images to put inside your slides, but open board doesn't allow this, but it will still be very acceptable. And if you reduce the size a little bit, it will be quite sharp. So this is the workflow for putting math expressions in open board. Now there is another way of putting images in open board and that is by using this documents. So if I click on this documents, I can also click on this add and add image and then select the image from any folder and that image will be added here and I can double click and I can see that image here. But there is a difference. This image is not selectable. So if I, for example, click on this arrow, I cannot select this image. Not even with this magic finger or this pen tool, I can pan the page, but I cannot select this image. While if you insert image using this folder, and now if I select this selection tool and I click on that, I can select this image and I have some control on this size and these kind of things. Keep in mind this difference of two ways of inserting images in open board. So this was another tip for you. Now the next tip is, and although I have explained this in one of my videos, but I got questions about this. Let me go back and I click on applications this time and I click on this triangle tool and let me delete this image. So the next question I got is how to draw parallel lines and also straight lines and these kind of questions. This is called set a square or a triangle. If you want to draw a straight line, make sure that you have this stylus toolbar here. And if you don't see this, you click on this stylus on the left. So you will see this toolbar appears. Now from this stylus, 
you will select this annotate document tool for example and select the color of the line let's say green and the thickness of the line which is maximum at the moment and then you hover over this and this dot and this hand only appears if your dot is inside this set square and you can only draw line along this area where you can see this scale now to draw parallel lines so first i draw the first line so i put this dot inside this set this set square and when i reach this line i can start drawing the line so let's say my line is 10 cm long like that and you can change the length if you want so let's say this looks 10 cm and now what i do is instead of this pen now i select this arrow and when I bring this here, I can see some other controls. So I want to flip this. If I flip this by clicking on this top flip icon, it will flip like that. And now if I flip this with the second one, it will flip like that. And now I can simply place it here and draw a line. And now again, I select this pen and I draw a line like this. So this is how you can draw parallel lines. And to close this, simply click on this cross. Now the next tip is about working in layers and to explain that let me bring this compass and I select this pen tool first and let's draw a blue circle select this arrow and it's important that you notice the tool I am selecting and now I, when I bring my mouse near this edge I can draw a circle and to pen on the page I can simply use this tool when I see this double sided arrow I can move this compass to any position so I want to draw another circle with red color and this circle will be intersecting the other circle and now let me close this compass because I want to show you the layers if I use this magnifier bring it here you can see that at the moment red circle is on top and blue circle is underneath these two circles are at their own layers now to change the layer what I need to do is let me put this on the side I select this tool and I click here so as you can see that now this blue circle is at the top so this is one way of doing this now the other way of doing this is that you select this arrow tool and then you select one of the circles and now the red circle is selected as you can see that the complete red circle is inside and if I click on down arrow the red will go underneath and if I click up arrow the red will become up so in this way you can change the layers and we go back to this home and pictures and now let's say I put this image here and then and then I put another image on top and now I have two images which are roughly on top of each other one is the solution and the other is the question so I can simply select this and I can move this down and it will show the maze and if I click the other one it will show the solution so in this way if you want to show your students the maze and then the solution and then the maze you can use these layers effectively there are many other applications where you want to hide something underneath and then show it you can also have these kind of gaming techniques by using interactivity so if I click on that and interactivities we have many interactivities where you can have some gaming situations and I will make my next video video number five about these interactivities and then I will put all these videos in open board tutorial playlist on my channel currently that playlist has these four videos and if you have any questions you can ask and when I get four or five questions I will make a small video about those questions and I might also give you a shout out if you are a youtuber and don't forget to download my pdf document in the description of this video so these were few tips so that is it for today thanks for watching and see you next time